Hello, this is Griff, and welcome to Game 3, the 2v2 of TA versus MBS. There we go, it's on Vampire. I have not seen a 2v2 on this map yet, so that's going to be exciting. So let's see who's playing. Alright, so we have on Team MBS, we have Daz and Mamba. Daz being the brown turn right here. And we have the, pro no, sorry, the orange Protoss... Daz. Then on Team TA, Team Attrition, we have Migran and Night Fox. Migran being the Teal Terran. And we have Night Fox, the Blue Proton. So we have TV, PV, TV, TPP. Pee -pee 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 -poo. All right, so now we have some team chat going in. So Migran saying standard. Okay, so standard power or something he said. So they're going to go standard. What that is, we will see in a moment. Now, oh dear. So a very early scout. Well, no. Straight off the bat, a scout going in after the pylon. Going to go straight for, for Mamba here. Mamba, 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 Mamba. Right, so he's going to go there. We'll see, there we go, Protoss always scout first. Going to exchange positions. Okay, so 2v2s. We'll try to keep up with the action. Usually, it all comes down to the starting push. So there we go, SCV crossing, so they all know where they are now. So right now, we have Team Attrition up 2-0, right? So Vampire with these little very strange chokes which is actually pretty ideal for for Terran so we're, there we go see just plan down that barracks there and everything's blocked maybe yeah zealots can still pass through that but still um, also it, it is actually yeah it is blockable for Protoss as well so there we go we have the gateway going up obviously we have ah we have a very early gas gas going up there we'll see um, 2v2s, always strange builds, never really standard. Well, I'm not that into the 2v2 scene, so I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll do it play by play as it happens. Vampire, known also for those two guys, is always a very strange sight to see. Okay? Usually on 2v2 maps, because of course you, it is usually a death sentence to fast expand where you do oh we have a little neat little trick here so Mamba guy for an engineering bay blocking off the uh, Night Fox's base so he won't he's going to gate zealots fuck he says and with all good reason because that zealot can't go out so he is blocked not going to finish yeah he's going Mamba's going to try and finish that engineering bay because if he unblocks it so that little rush is going to be thwarted somewhat Factory going down, some Marines going down for Migrin as well. So I'm guessing, yeah, that engineering bay just a temporary solution, so it wasn't part of a bigger push or anything. It was just a little cute thing you could do. There we go. So we don't have two gates from Daz. Daz is going for a quick cybernetics call, so we, they are planning on a longer game, I see. There we go, we got the factory, so Night Fox was planning to end it quickly with those salads, but he is, of course, well, he was blocked, but... It isn't going to mean that much, I think, because he's not going to go through that barracks either. It's all very much blocked off. So there we go, we've got that one Marine probably going to... What are you going to do, little Marine? Probably going to scout around. There we go, two facts up. We'll see. Two factories... Uh, three factories! We've got straight off three factories, so he's really... Migrant's really confident that that little choke here is going to hold quickly. We we'll hold fast, even. Only two. So, yeah. The only one going... Well, two gates for those quick zealots. I think they had a little change of tactics. There we go. He's now going for two gate. He's got a dragoon building there. Gonna go for another gateway. So, those two gateways not really being used at the start. I think that might be a little bit of an advantage... A disadvantage from Night, for Night Fox. As he has those three zealots now but it doesn't really matter because not a lot of happening not a lot is happening at the moment there we go starport going up for Mamba obviously to break so yeah I'm seeing a little vulture drop happening here we have vultures being produced we've got the mines we've got the starport ah there we go a little bit of a alright I've got two goons we have from Night Fox 
talking to his teammate Megrin. We've got not a lot from Megrin yet, though. Megrin's a little bit behind. There we go. We've got Daz moving out all by himself. I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's going to go for Megrin. Megrin now doesn't have mines yet. He has those three vultures. He's going to be done soon. But he's, go he's not. He should retreat. He's not going to be able to take this. Micro's good though, he's gonna try... There we go, mine's just finished! Very lucky for Migrin. You okay, as Night Fox, and yes he is, because he's going to use his mines and going to mop up this little assault. So yeah, Daz has to retreat. I'm not sure. So they were both planning the same thing, sort of. As Daz now has those four vultures as well. But he has he's going for that drop ship. He's going to move out. Gonna plant some mines on his front door and move back in. So he is planning for that drop. I think the I intend the the original idea was for Daz to attack and then uh, Mamba to actually move in with the drop when everything was sealed off and contained. But now we've got a little bit of a problem. Daz is in a bit of a pickle now. Because Night Fox has, that, has those two gates and he built up that force. Those vultures, however, do not have any mines anymore. Gonna be picked off. So it's just the Protoss, really. Those vultures not really being able to do anything. Gonna go in there still. Yeah, Night Fox's bigger army because, of course, Daz had those, for, had those forces lost. Now gonna go in. We'll see. What's it. There we go. We've got the dropship. Had to be used. Mamba's ne Mama needs to use those mines now. Well, it's going to be dangerous. Whoa! That was very dangerous with those probes right there. Those probes almost all died, but it was really lucky none of those died. Very nice, specific mines almost. And this attack is going to be mopped up. But reinforcements coming very slow. Vultures coming from Megrin. They're going to go. They were rallied. They're going to retreat. They're going to try. We've still got. We still had one. One zealot in there. Wow, so, wow, there we go, we've got to try and do some more damage here, Megrin. He's got to try and pick up some more pro, but he's getting blocked, and it's not working. He couldn't do it. Megrin's barracks now taking a peek. He's going to be taken down if he doesn't retreat that. In the meantime, we've got, yeah, Fox is now building up. Oh, God! And in the meantime, we did have a drop going up. The cannon's there. We have some cannons. They will mob this up, but still some nice amount of damage. That dropship is being taken down, so that drop did happen. But wasn't that effective? Because, of course, Night Fox responded quickly by building those cannons, expecting something like that. But the dropships are still being produced. We've got some tanks in there now. Not sure if Siege has been upgraded yet, but I think it might. Not a factory going up here. We've got the armory going down as well. So, we've got a nice mine contain here. Not being able to be... Well, Daz is locked in. Has that robotics facility. Is already building those... Observers to prevent that. There we go. We've got a massive force of Megan going, Megan going in. But what is he doing? He's not really focused very well. This mine could be very huge, blowing shit up as you do. But yeah, nice, nice amount of kills. Nice harassment going on. Let's see what's happening in the meantime. There we go. We've got siege. We've only got one tank, but we've got a lot of, a lot of mines. As your guns won't be able to move up. Siege tanks, mines are very damaged dragoons. He won't be able to just move up there. These vultures might, I'm not sure. More moving in, so yeah, now that observer, that minefield's gonna be trying to. Another wave of vultures gonna go in. Not gonna be as effective. They're still there though. Observers are not. Ah! Taking down that dragoon. Let's see what's going to happen here. So, again, these probes keep getting killed. Why doesn't he just block off this? If if Daz just moved this, oh yeah, there's still some some other mines as well. If if Daz would have just blocked off this choke with his with his uh, dragoons with that, then those vultures wouldn't have gone in and he wouldn't have lost all of this. Because now we've got Night Fox's dragoons inside the base. That is not good. Good job, Megrin says to Night Fox. These are going to be mopped up, but the damage has been done. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Man, 